Since the first ever video game, companies have come a long way to revolutionize and advance how and what games we play. However, even with the large amount of amazing games there are to play, there are still several video games that haven't done as well upon release. In today's video, we're going to discuss some video games that were overhyped and ended up flopping upon release. Keep watching as some of these may surprise you. First up on the list, we have Star Wars The Force Unleashed 2. Its predecessor, the first Force Unleashed game, proved to be a one game that provided great chaos and adventure and gave players the chance to use the force, get in on some lightsaber combat, and create things with their own customization. While it may not have been the number one game of all time, it did manage to gather a decent sized loyal fan base as it was one of the more entertaining additions to the Star Wars game franchise. On the other hand, the game that followed it, Star Wars The Force Unleashed 2, did not get to experience the same success. When it was released, LucasArts was experiencing major problems, which then seemed to be reflected in the game's performance. As the ratings go, it has a weak story, glitchy gameplay, and repetitive nature. Essentially, it puts the series on thin ice and you shouldn't expect to see a continuation to this story. Next up is Mighty Number no. 9, which has been called, quote, better than nothing. However, despite that description, prior to it being released, Mighty Number no. 9 seemed to have everything going for it. Produced by the Blue Bombers creator, KG Inafune, it was essentially a love letter to the Mega Man franchise and was first pitched on Kickstarter back in 2013 as they returned to old school 2D action gaming. Within only two days of being released, the game hit its initial goal of $900,000. And even with the number of delays, the hype for the game continued to grow, to a point where Legendary Pictures announced its plan to adopt the still unreleased game as a live action motion picture. So of course, people began treating Mighty Number no. 9 as though it was going to be the next big one for classic action games. However, and rather sadly, the 2D action game didn't live up to its big hype, as the final product didn't quite resemble the concept or art style that was advertised around or shown to backers during its original Kickstarter campaign. As a result, the highly anticipated game was dubbed a critical failure and quickly enraged many and any of the fans who had backed or played the game. And the comments made by Inafoon, its designer and creator, likely only intensified these harsh feelings. According to Inafoon, this is what you see and what you get. Even if it's not perfect, it's better than nothing. However, as our argued by many of its critics, the problem is that nothing would have cost a lot less time, energy, and money. The next game that flopped upon its release was Sonic the Hedgehog 2006. This year marked the 15th anniversary of the Sonic the Hedgehog series, and to celebrate the event, a brand new Sonic title was released. Called Sonic the Hedgehog or Sonic 06, the platform game was widely hyped by many Sonic fans. However, as many have already know, Sonic 06 was quickly rated as one of the worst games ever released ever. Some of the aspects that caused the game to get such a rep included clonky controls, cringy stories, insanely long loading screens, and game-breaking glitches. The game damaged the series' reputation so badly that it still lingers on some of the gamers' minds whenever a Sonic game is mentioned. While it may seem like the reviews for some of these games couldn't get any worse, wait until you hear about Aliens Colonial Marines, which is up next on our list. As it has been comically described, Alien Colonial Marines alienated fans, as it has been rated as as one of the worst received games of all time and has even earned some of the lowest review scores. Prior to its release, the shooting game looked to be quite promising, even so that both gaming and film fans seem to have been drawn to the hype. But as we've seen so many times in the past, high expectations can often backfire on developers. And this seemed to be the case for Aliens, as it was received so poorly when it was finally released that fans were practically raging with anger. In fact, it seemed like the game didn't do much of anything right, from the bad graphics to the the below average multiplayer mode and undermining level of difficulty, Aliens Colonial Marines failed on pretty much every aspect. While the game looked much less impressive than what was seen in its trailers, it was its horrendous enemy AI that caused most to hate. Enemies could simply walk right past the protagonist or just remain completely stationary. Though this problem was eventually traced back to a single typo in the game's code, it still received loads of backlash. As a matter of fact, the game was so poorly received among fans that even some went as far to sue its developers, Sega and Gearbox, something that doesn't happen just every day with newly released games.
scams. And to add even more onto this, Gearbox's CEO, Randy Pitchford, claims that he lost between 10 and 15 million dollars of his own money to the project. Following that failure, we have Hayes, which is a rather interesting case. This is mainly because the first person shooting game actually had a lot of potential to be a big deal in the gaming world. But of course, like all other games on this list, it failed to take advantage and live up to the big amounts of excitement that it picked up during its time in development. The game was initially marketed as an alternative to the popular game Halo and looked like it could actually possibly surpass the iconic franchise. However, anyone that bought into its big hype was left extremely disappointed and with a little lighter in their wallets as Hayes proved to be anything but a competent shooting game. With so much hype and excitement built around the game's potential to possibly dethrone Halo, there was no way the Hayes was going to please the eager fans, especially what it had to offer, which included a boring level design, conventional and otherwise unimaginative gameplay, and below average stories. All of which made Hayes one of the many shooting games that didn't see wild success, or in their case, little to no success at all. Yet another video game that was overhyped and ended up flopping upon release was Overkill's The Walking Dead, which has been described as undercooked, or as some may say overcooked as it seemed to have a lot of potential and grew a lot of anticipation only to fail to deliver. As a collaboration with Starbreeze Studios and Overkill Software, Overkill's The Walking Dead came with what seemed to be a seal of approval from series creator Robert Kirkman. In an attempt to steer Overkill's game away from the pitfalls of Doom that other adaptations such as The Walking Dead Survival Instinct seemed to fall into, Kirkman supported the game in what he called an advisory capacity. And although there were a few delays, fans had multiple different reasons to feel optimistic about the adaptation of what seemed to be the unstoppable zombie franchise. However, this didn't prove to follow through. Upon its release, the game needed some apparent work done to it, of which consisted of core combat and mission systems. Unfortunately, the promise to fix these problems never came true, and the much needed overhaul never happened. And in response to such a negative response, Skybound Entertainment ended their agreement with Starbreeze and Overkill, which led to the game getting removed from Steam and cancellation of all console versions. Up next, we have Knack, which initially gathered a lot of responsibility when it attracted lots of attention shortly after its announcement. As a launch title for PS4, the game actually started off as what seemed to be promising. While many were aware of how bad most PS4 launch titles were, there were still some good reasons to be optimistic when it came to Knack. One being that it promised to be something of a throwback, focused on following the footsteps of other great games such as Crash Bandicoot. If only that had happened, the game turned out to be rather frustrating as certain aspects of the game caused players to have abrupt deaths. Not only that, but the storyline wasn't any better and it didn't really offer much in terms of engagement with the audience. In the end, the main takeaway from Knack is bad gameplay and a boring plot that made for a dull game. Last but not least, we have SimCity 2013. Having quite the bad launch, the game was the first major addition to the SimCity series since SimCity 4, causing it to be very anticipated by fans. In what was expected to be a great day, the game's launch turned out to be a complete disaster. So much it even damaged its reputation among fans. One of the major reasons for this was the server issues that most players had to constantly face when starting the game. As a result, this led to network outrages and subsequent reports of crashing, disconnections, loss of saved data, and more. It was and remains to be one of the biggest launch flops in gaming. With that said, that's gonna wrap this up. Did any of the games on the list surprise you? Let us know in the comments, and thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.